Welcome back, my friends. It's Rob here again with Phantom Brigade, a game that I was playing in this last episode, and we just done a bunch of cool stuff by taking out some of these reserve camps and stuff like that, and we're now up to 100% with our mechs, and we're going to continue on. So we're going to see if there's anything through this area right here. There should be. It's all procedurally generated, and like all the random encounters become random at this point. But yeah, they're usually in the same spot. Look at that. We're gonna go over there. Broken down convoy. We can handle that. Since your homeland fell, the invaders have built military bases and reinforced all settlements and facilities. Invaders may counterattack. Proceeding with caution is advised. You should try to find an enemy patrol to ambush, defeating them and salvaging more advanced gear. That's what we're going to do. In inner hostile territory, the escalation in that pro province will increase. So you can contest the province with escalation reaches one or higher. We can contest it. Alright. Alright. So the 317th army unit is a broken down convoy. We're going to see if we can take it out. Oh, look, there's an enemy squad dispatched to investigate my sounds, I guess. Suit up. Let's do it. Alright, so. I wish I could add a unit. Like, Wait, hold on a second. What? So the salvage isn't ready to go, is it? No, it's not. Stop it with that. You had me going for a second. I was like, what? All right, cool. So we're going to go ahead and deploy. No, let's go ahead and push escape. So commander of the base is encircled. Encircle around to the perimeter that we were ready to pick the squad up if needed. The enemy will hold it aside if you do. So move your mech into marked supplies to, to secure them. Rebel units in range, engaging, requesting backup. All right, so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and run, run, baby, run. And once we get there, we're going to start attacking pretty hard on this. Start firing on you after that. That should probably, that's going to put us close to, yeah, critical heating. So you, wait, nope, let's not do this. What are you doing? There we go. All right, so you are going to come over here. And once you get over here, you're going to start firing on this guy. Maybe even fire, oh, too late. All right, let's do this, let's see how it goes. Good to go. So it looks like that one's almost done. Oh, look at you. You're coming after me. I'm fire from behind. As you actually fire at it too. We're going to try to finish that off as well. All right, go ahead and figure this out. There we go. Took out the mech. All right, so we got the tank. All right, done. Sight under control. Very good. All right, so let's see what they've got. So they have an uncommon shield. We're going to go ahead and recover that. And an uncommon lower. Awesome. All right, with the rest of it, let's see what we can do. We're going to... I forgot what I need for the other one. I think I need an upper. Okay, that's already being recovered. So let's see if we can just dismantle this and this. There we go. Confirm, starting salvage. 
And then hopefully we can actually build this. Now we needed a lower. Which we have a couple of them now. We're not going to take the uncommon one yet. Actually, I don't know. We'll give it the uncommon one. Left arm. We'll give it a nice heavy one. Left slot. The firewall. I like it. The right arm can be also heavy. And the right slot can be the shred two shotgun. Alright, so this one's ready to go. And it's actually the strongest mech we have now. So we'll go ahead and all parts will make you kind of foresty looking. I like it. And then we'll go back and wow yeah that's it's even it's like way more powerful than this one even let's probably have to I don't know if we yeah that's fine so we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and do that Looks like these units have been transporting heavy armor sets. They've been integrated, more integrated than medium armor sets, but they're heavier, which means they dissipate less heat. You've gained enough supplies to build a new mech frame. I already have a new mech frame. So I've got three now. Protector's ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and see what I can do to upgrade it real quick, since this is my weakest one now. And we'll go with upper body to see if we can, okay. Definitely helped it out a little bit. Maybe give it a lower body as well. Can we upgrade? Is that going to do anything for me? Left arm and right arm if I give it. Alright. 1.7. So that's good. And the uh, long low was how, how good was Oh, it's still damaged. So we're going to have to wait. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's go back to the worlds and let it recoup. Actually, we'll just go right here and stop. I think driving slows us down. Hmm, if it does, it's extraordinarily hard to see. Okay, so that's the... 515th army unit. We're going to go ahead and try to intercept it. There we go. Into the fray. The base comes alive. The sounds of boots. Let's suit up and move out. Alright, so we've got the salvage. <laughs> Which we're going to have to change its name. Can we change its name? Edit unit. I don't, I don't think we can change his name. Salvage528. That's what's his name. That's his name. Let's add a pilot. And we're going to put in Lars Jacobson. Or Kilo. Uh, this one has... Yeah, Lars has more health. So we'll go ahead and add Lars. Take a look at our stuff here. Looks like they're pretty awesome. And I'm ready to go. So let's deploy. Let's do it. Hopefully I don't lose everything. That would suck a lot. A lot a lot. Alright, so dropping in command is getting impatient. Let's get this over and done with. Why is this so slow? Alright. So you run here and just start kicking this thing's butt. All right, well you, you're gonna run and come over here. Once you get, no, no. Once you get there, take a shot at that. 
and you are going to run to the fray. And once you get here, you're going to take a shot at this thing. Should be pretty easy. That's easy. Okay, well, that was a little bit easier than I thought it would be. It's funny, he's starting to run away at this point, so let's go ahead and start shooting him from behind. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. enough. I'm not going to be able to catch him. Once he's about there, let's shoot him in the back again. And then we'll chase him with this one too. Alright, that should be good enough. Yep, so fuck. All right, get out of here with that mess. All right, good to go. So we've, we've beaten them again. Oh, what is this? Wait. It's an intact aggressor mech that we can salvage. Oh, man, we don't have enough. Hmm. It's a level three. Hmm. I wish I could just salvage the whole damn thing. Wait. We just abandon all of this. But take the mech? Nope. Shoot, that sucks. Alright, the burst is actually good, so we'll take that. And take the upper two and the lower. And then why not the arm as well? Nope. Well, let me do that. Okay, so we'll just confirm that. Alright, let's go ahead and let everybody cover. So I think that that rifle is going to be better than the one I have now, which is good because that was one little nice little salvage item. So we'll come over here and we'll take a look. Longbow. Longbow. Edit. Right arm, right slot. Yes, it is. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, optimal interval is lower, but the output per volley is better. how important the output per volley is. Is that going to make me better? Yes, it is. All right, lower. I'm going to put 2.2. Nice. All right, I, I'm guessing, I mean, I, I assume, I, unless somebody tells me differently, I feel like this, the number, the higher the number, the better. Maybe, I don't know. Who knows? I don't know what I'm doing. Like that, no nope. integrity drops. Okay, cool. So we've got the longbow, which is our like main rifle mech, and then two shotgun and shield mechs. Oh look, I think I can change this name now. Yes, I can. All right, so let's do. Um, there's longbow protector, and then how about paladin? There we go. start to move towards the reinforced camp. We'll take that out. Let's also look to see what we can do upgrades wise. We should be able to do something. Replace the sensor array equipment to allow for a longer range of in 
All right, so enemy stuff, overdrive sensing, improves the base vision and range. No. And I think this is it. Oh, no, that's not. Blue is what we can do. Smoke charges equips the base of smoke charges launches, which is on the enemy patrol and allow the base to escape. Reactor allows the power core to store more energy and enables further customization by disabling civilian reactor safety checks. That sounds cool. Let's just get rid of safety. Alright. We're going to take this out. Hopefully. Suit up. Let's do this. Alright. With that, the longbow is now my strongest unit, I think. Because that's the number. It's a high number. But I do think that's... I think that's basically like its overall strength, right? Command of the base circled around the perimeter. We're ready to pick up the squad if needed. Okay, so... It looks like they want me to, they want to hold out. Okay, you know what, we're gonna go ahead and pop you through. Looks like for some reason, the other one, the mech is focusing its efforts on my mech. So, Maybe that wasn't the good. Let's do something else instead. Let's come over here. Nope, looks like I'm gonna have to do some wild running regardless. So we'll come up through here. Actually, we'll come up around here. You can come up up here. Good. We got the tank. And so we'll... Oh, you're going to come up here. Wasn't expecting that. Well, I don't really like that either because I was planning on you doing something else. Okay, so here instead and as you get to here start chopping this thing down all right good to go and then you actually stop running come back over here if it still needs to be done because I have a feeling I'm gonna have killed this guy by then, but we'll go ahead and make it happen. Yep. Bon voyage. Our units eliminated the garrison requiring updated tactical plans. Okay. Where are they coming from? I don't see where they're coming from, so... I don't want to do anything. I'm gonna run over here. You're gonna run over here as well. And you can... take the high ground for a second. Let's see where they're coming from. Extraction to the highlight. I'm using retreat action to exit combat. Alternatively, stay and limit hostiles for bigger rewards. 
You gain victory in either case, but I don't... Where is... Where are the hostiles? Okay, so use this time to extract, but I don't want to extract. I want to kill everybody. Let's go ahead and let's get everybody ready. Hopefully it's not like four max. Cause then I'm done. Here are two on the field of signals so lines, surround them and finish them off. Okay. Where are they? They're over there. Man, all that running, just to find out that they're coming from over there. You know what, I should wait. I'll hold off on this because I don't want to go in there without any friends. And it'll be better with friends. Everything's better with friends. That's cool. The entry is cool. Alright, so. No, I don't want that. I want this one. There. All right, so they're trying to shoot me from there. Let's take them over here, and as I get to the top here, shoot. And then you, as they do that, you're gonna come around and start karate chopping them from the side. And then you. As you are about here. You're just gonna fire. go so what that means is that you are in the best position to take this thing out and even though you're running away I'm still gonna shoot you a lot so you are gonna get shot from here And then once you make it to about here, there you go. Shoot there. And shoot again if you need to. Okay, that didn't go quite as well as I was hoping. All right, you move up here. As you get up here, you're going to shoot at this mech. You, on the other hand, second we're done here, you're going to start firing at this thing until it's dead. It should be about there, but we'll see. Meanwhile, you're going to move in, and you're going to attack it from behind. And you're going to attack from behind if you need to. There we go. Awesome. Ooh, I took a huge hit there. 
Okay, good to go. We beat it. But we did definitely took some some hits. Alright, so the shotgun is uncommon. We're gonna salvage that. SMG? I don't want an SMG. I do want these two pieces though. I mean, I'll take it. Actually, we'll we'll dismantle that. Can we dismantle the whole thing? Yes, we can. All right. And then we'll dismantle this. Nope, can't do that. I lied. I was kidding. Take this. Confirm. All right. So that's our base now. We done did it. Light armor projects looks like these. Yep. Cool. All right. All right, so we continue. I know it was taking, it took me a long time to get this episode out. My apologies. I actually didn't think anybody wanted to see it. <laughs> I still think it's not doing as well as I was hoping, but for the people out there watching, I will continue because I want to see how this game is shaping up. So let's come over here and take a quick look at, I think it was the shotgun, right? That we got new ones for. We got new uncommon arms. Let's take that. But what about the right slot? It was the shotgun here. Wow, that's a really good shotgun. Let's go ahead and pop that in there. Now left slot, nope. Left arm. Is that gonna make me any better? It is. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and edit livery. And we're going to go ahead and make this guy. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I'm going to do that. Super stand out, but that's okay. Oh, you know, I didn't mean to do that. So the protector is at 1.8. The paladin's at 2. And the long was at 2.2. I think we're doing well. All right. Good to go. So, yeah, keep on watching. We're going to keep on coming back to this because I think that... It's really just shaping up to be a really pretty darn good game. I'm enjoying myself a lot. I really like the combat. The combat's super awesome. And I really appreciate the, like, it's, it requires some thought. And I know, like, if you get ahead of yourself, you really just jump, you know, dive right in and, and consider absolutely zero tactics, then you will die. You will lose. And I like that because, you know, I don't like games that are too easy. I don't think anybody, I mean, it's, it, this game is definitely, it, you know, it, it can be really difficult if you get yourself you know get too far ahead of yourself so anyways let me know what you guys think so far in the comments below until then this was ralph from keep exploring